Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome back to Dagwood Z's Tonsorium. I'm Dagwood Z with the Shaving Cadre. Welcome to 2019. Unfortunately, this uh, this video blog is starting off on a, a rather somber note. Uh, this is a memorial shave for one of the Shaving Cadre's first vendors, uh, and that's Honeybee Sue from Honeybee Soaps. And today, in memorial, we're going to be using uh, Hydrogen, uh, which is... It's a uh, blue aquatic would be the best way I could put it. Um, I did a review on this a few months back. Um, not going to go over the scent notes. Not going to go over the uh, the ingredient list. Um, like I said, I'll uh, I'll provide a link to that video uh, in the the description if you're interested. Um, needless to say, um, <clears throat> if I had to equate it to any kind of uh, popular men's cologne or fragrance that I, I own and I'm, I'm familiar with, it'd be something similar to a Polo Blue. Um, another one, uh, some of the Mountain Fresh uh, air fresheners that you smell, this is very similar to that. Um, so, just, yeah, it was a, it was a real shock. Uh, she passed away in early December. Um, she was having health problems, but she had gone through a, a more recent bout of surgeries. Uh, looked like she was going to pull through. Um, and we found out <clears throat> um, not too long ago that uh, uh, she didn't make it. Uh, so thoughts and uh, definitely uh, thoughts go out to the family and friends of Sue. Um, for those who aren't familiar with Honey Bee Soap, she's one of the, uh, the three original Sues. So you had... Uh, St. Sue, Sue Moore from SCS, St. Charles Shave. You had Honey Bee Sue as well as Mama Bear Sue from Mama Bear Soaps. Um, uh, all three were, I believe, glycerin based. I know Mama Bear's is, um, as well as Honey Bee. Uh, it's a glycerin based soap. I'm not sure about SCS, uh, but there were three of the original artisan, artisan uh, soap makers on the market. And uh, I wasn't into wet shaving at the time uh, when they were as big as they, they, they were at the time. They were as prominent in the uh, community as they were. And uh, so I can't speak to that, but there are plenty of other members on the, the shaving cadre and, and all, all across the, the wet shaving community that are very familiar with their soaps. and. We're very familiar with them. They were great friends in the shaving community. So anytime um, somebody like that uh, passes, um, it's a great loss to the community. Um, so thoughts go out to the, the family and friends. Uh, prayers definitely. Um, so in honor, uh, we're gonna. A lot of the shaving cadre is uh, making uh, January fourth honeybee uh, soap day. Get my hands dry here. Um, I did bloom the soap, so hydrogen, as I stated, it's a glycerin uh, based soap. Um, so this has a blue color, she, she, Sue uh, did add quite a bit of skin food into this, so this is not your typical Colonel Conk, uh, you know, original Colonel Conk recipe type glycerin soaps. Uh, these are actually really uh, a lot more moisturizing for the skin than they, they normally would be. Um, so let's get right into it. I'm using my <coughs> shaving cadre legacy brush again as she was one of the uh, the first uh, artisan vendors on the site seemed only right to use the, uh, the shaving cadre brush coin to brush Now, I hope everybody's New Year started off a little better than I did. Uh, I actually filmed the video a couple days ago um, using a new soap to me and uh, decided that uh, it just wasn't up to the standards that uh, I have uh, put on myself. Oh, I dropped a big gulp of soap there. Um, I was just I was feeling that under the weather. I, you can still hear it in my voice a little bit. Um, still not quite 100%, although the majority of the debilitating symptoms have uh, subsided. I uh, just got a lingering cough and a little bit of a scratchy throat. <coughs> Excuse me. So.
Yeah, this was the full Monty. I haven't had this range of symptoms in a very, very, very long time. I've gotten really, really bad coughs. I've gotten, you know, really, really bad fevers. Uh, really bad gastrointestinal issues. Um, <clears throat> and aches, real bad aches, but this kind of encompassed all, all the above um, in a manner that I have not experienced in a very, very long time. So, but it's subsiding now. I'm able to function normally. Um, so, a good thing too, because I really did want to get this video out today. Again, it's 2019. Unbelievable. Hard to believe that 2019 is already here. This is uh, this year, even though it kind of lost a little bit of its gloss um, a few years ago when I got out of the military, this month of this year holds a very special uh, meaning for me because it was on January 21st of 1999 that I joined the uh, United States Army. And... Uh, began my adventure with the military that is still going to this day even as a, uh, as a civilian so <clears throat> needless to say uh, January 20th um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be feeling whether I'm, I'm going to even because of the nature of the job out here whether I'm going to realize it and until it's over or whether it'll put me in a mood or put me in a really good mood, I have no idea. I have no idea, guys. But either way, I'm going to do a hot towel and I'll be right back. All right, guys. One thing I forgot to go over is we're using the Feather SS Camisori. Um, <clears throat> this soap, if I remember correctly, is pretty good slickness and pretty good cushion. Um, it's a good soap. Um, it's not going to be one of your elite soaps. And it's not going to be top in any one particular category of shave performance. But it's just a good all around soap. It's made by a phenomenal supporter of our, our community. And Very proud to, uh, to use the soap. Really am. <laughs> Just going to be a two pass shave today, guys. Excuse me.
So, <clears throat> anybody doing anything exciting for New Year's Eve? I didn't. The one thing you'll notice about these soaps is they rinse very clean, which is actually kind of nice. Um, some of the other artisans feels like they leave a little bit of a film on your face. But just be aware if you go to buff over a place, the residual slickness might be a little less than you're expecting. Sorry, not too much talking today, guys. Apparently, my ears are stopped up too because I've been talking loud all day. Didn't even realize it. Sure up for the shave today guys. The reason I'm doing two passes today is uh, it was uh, about a four hour longer work day than normal. I need to get some sleep. So <coughs> there's that lingering cough. With that being said let's uh, check it with the owl real quick. And uh, Get cleaned up. Not too much. A little bit right there. A little bit right there. Normal spots. Don't normally get it right up there, but every once in a while. I forgot to puff out. But yeah all right guys um i will be back and uh wrap the video up see you in a second all right guys we're back real nice shave fitting shave nice and close even though it was only two passes yeah thank you very much sue for being such a great supporter of this hobby um and uh, yeah, you're gonna be missed, very much so. Um, so from everybody at the Shaving Cadre, I, I hope I'm not taking any liberties. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Feather SS, blade is still going strong with the uh, Feather Pro Guard uh, with the undetermined amount of shaves on it. And uh, 
yeah, that's still going good. And the uh, shave and cadre brush did the soap justice. So, all in all, good, sh good, good shave. Um, there will be a honeybee soap in the PIF. It is the Caribbean Vacation. Uh, it's a mixture of tropical fruit and bay rum. It's actually interesting. I just I'm not a bay rum bay rum person, so it got included in the PIF. Um, the PIF drawings tomorrow night, tomorrow the fifth. So hope everybody's ready for that. And uh, the uh, the person in the lead right now with the biggest percentage is anonymous. They have a 12 percent or blank. They have a 12% chance of hitting the winning number. So there are eight blank spots, equates to about 12%. Uh, <clears throat> but all the same, if there is no winner uh, picked on Saturday, the drawing will roll to Wednesday. All right, and we'll keep doing that until we hit a winner. So, if you haven't checked out the Shaving Cadre, Check it out, www.theshavingcadre.com. Stop on by, say hello, introduce yourself. Check out the journals, check out the discussions. A lot of really good stuff going on there uh, right now. And uh, just announced the one year anniversary uh, shave brush with the uh, one year anniversary of the Shaving Cadre coming up. Uh, it's amazing to uh, watch this site grow from the beginning. And the three owners, uh, Dave, Chad, and Chris, have just done an absolutely unbelievable job with it. Uh, giving us a great venue and a great community. So stop on by, say hello. All right, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the forums, guys. Until then, take care and happy new year. Peace.